a p-value of less than 0 0.001, we have strong statistical evidence that this drug prevents migraine headaches without daily administration. Uh, excuse me, doctor. He knows his field better than you do. It's always been my understanding that, uh, unless you follow a daily regimen, no drug can prevent a migraine. That's why they call it a breakthrough. That's why you call it a breakthrough. No, the uh, pharmaceutical company sponsoring my clinical trials also hails it as a breakthrough. I'm sure your wife and lawyer do too. Is there anybody who doesn't stand to make a fortune from it calling it a breakthrough? Who are you? Just a lunatic who desperately needs a hobby. How exactly do these studies work? You give this drug to a bunch of people and they don't get a migraine, you go, voila, my drug works. Uh, excuse me, miss, uh, do you have cancer? Wow, mango juice prevents cancer. Uh, perhaps I should have taken my medication before this lecture. <laughs> we had a very specific control group, chronic migraine sufferers. I don't have time to go through all the math right now, but the incidence was dramatically. Sure. In India, two plus two equals five there, right? Do I know you? I know your math skills. They blow. Touche. You sound very familiar. Why did you publish in an obscure journal in India? Why not publish in really, really cool hit cases of South Philly? Neuroscience New Delhi is a respected journal. Yeah, the guy running Slurp and Gulp tells me it's one of the best. Get a hooker, anything. See, I'm thinking that publishing studies is probably the easiest way to get a pharmaceutical company to give you a reach around. And choosing a journal that no one can actually read, well, that's, that's shrewd. I know I know you. Sure you do. Dick. The name's Philip. Oh, my bad. Something to do with your face. I always think your name is Dick. House? Here. Medical school was 20 years ago. Give it a rest. Grow up. Yeah. You were always the grown-up. Do the responsible thing. Tattletale. You cheated. I cheated then. You're cheating now. Your drug doesn't work. Oh, oh, yes, you would like to believe that because it plays right into your fantasy. I tested it. Oh, really? What are your parameters? Where's your study? Room 2134. One patient? The coma patient? You haven't changed a bit. You took shortcuts in med school. You're taking shortcuts now. You cannot test this on an abnormal brain. That's so close-minded. He's not abnormal, he's special. Cerebral cortex atrophies in coma patients. You need live, conscious people. You don't know everything, House. It's something that disrupts brain function. Plaques are perfect. Interrupt neuronal communication. MS? No. MS is complicated. I think this is more basic. It's just tachycardia and seizures. How much longer the burn you the guy's gonna keep him in that thing? Lecture's over. Let's go. House wants to. Adam's waking up. Get the anesthesiologist in here now. He's in pain. <laughs> That's not pain. Need some help in here. Uh-huh. <gasps>